each one of these are going to map to an HTTP code. So for example, HTTP 500, application error, HTTP 404, product not found error, and we have a couple more here. And you might ask, why is this necessary? It's it's more of a, um, in a way to separate our business logic, because if you think about it, our CRUD layer thinks in business terms, not necessarily HTTP codes or not necessarily knows what the API or the endpoint should be returning. So it helps us to kind of like separate that logic. Additionally, it's great for consistency because we can have other developers come and work on this API and they just know to use these classes versus implementing some other custom functionality for, uh, for providing error messages and things like that. And then we also have the option to sort of enrich these with contacts. So for example, status code, detail, and then just provide more information for debugging. So that's kind of like the, the first layer there. We also have this handle Cosmos error, which is pretty much going to translate the errors that we could get from the database, in this case, Cosmos DB, into status codes and then raise the correct custom uh, exception class. 